wanted to show you something guys, this is very interesting. It's basically the next room from the room I'm staying in. Come follow me. We have to keep it very quiet. So can you see it? It's basically three little kittens, baby kittens. So I just wanted to show you. A very good morning. Today is going to be an exciting day. Follow my journey, a lot of things are going to go down. As you know, the time is around half past three in the afternoon. I've got a few places to go guys today. And my quarantine has come to an end. I am more freedom. I can move. I have less restrictions. Even though the city has a lockdown, I've got a few places to go because I need to go and show you guys what Silet is about. And I'm gonna show you some nice locations and it should be an interesting day. So I'm gonna go in this CNG. So a lot of you might be thinking, what is this? This is a CNG. CNG is an auto rickshaw, you could call it a tuk-tuk. It is used in Bangladesh, in Pakistan, in Thailand and India. This model two-stroke engine is actually made in India by a company called Bajaj. The original one was a yellow one called a baby taxi. And uh, I like to travel in this because I find it very convenient and it's very easy to get a bike because it's a three-wheeler and they can go through all sorts of gaps. They could manoeuvre very well and it's a very small vehicle. So I find it very convenient to travel in a CNG. So I'm just waiting for my brother-in-law and uh, I think he's going to surprise me because he said he has a surprise. As soon as he saw me dressing like this, he thought, ah, I've got a surprise for you. So let's see what Tariq's up to. So, have you guessed the surprise? I bet you have. We look like twins. Yes, we look like twins. So, um, if he told me early he's going to dress exactly the same, I would have probably wore something else. But anyway, bless him. We're in a tuk-tuk, we're going through the city, and it's absolutely dead. Lockdown, not much people around whatsoever. But uh, you know what, guys? Just to travel is so quick. It takes literally minutes to get from one place to another. Normally in Silet, from one side to another side, it takes literally hours without exaggerating. But the city is very clean, very tidy. They are getting rid of most of the cables and wires. And they are going to say, basically, um, it's going to be a wireless city soon because they're getting rid of all the cables. Um, I'm actually making my way um, towards the airport road. And I think we will be passing the cricket stadium. So I'll show you about the cricket stadium and then the tea garden and then um, let's see where it leads us to. Keep on watching, guys. So this is the International Cricket Stadium in Silet and it's absolutely beautiful, amazing. Last year I did a tour of it. Go back to my last vlog last year and you'll see it. But I'm not allowed to go in this time because it's closed. But I'll try to go in another day. But it's absolutely right. Nice, guys, I must say. Even when I went in last year, it doesn't feel like it's in a third world country, the stadium. It feels more like it's in a first world uh, country. And it is really nice, this area. This area generally is beautiful. <laughs> So 
সবচেয়ে বড় সার বাগান এটা না ওটা শ্রীমঙ্গল আছে ওকে সো উই আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি নিয়ার দ্য এয়ারপোর্ট অফ সিলেক্ট এয়ারপোর্ট আর দিস ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি ওয়ান অফ দ্য বিগেস্ট টি রিসর্টস ইন সিলেক্ট আর অ্যাজ ইউ নো বাংলাদেশ प्रोड्यूसेस আ লট অফ দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ডস টি এন্ড দিস আর অল টি গার্ডেন সো I'm going to basically have a little tour maybe about 5 minutes tour and show you a bit of this uh, tea garden but it's absolutely picturesque breathtaking and it's so beautiful and there's a lot of people as well taking pictures so let's have a little oh, I don't know so let's have a little tour of this uh, tea garden It's amazing to go people watching viewers watching it just even smells so nice and smells so fresh last year when i did come to the tea garden i didn't get to explore it much but today i'm going to try to explore it much but it just feels so nice and pleasant and even the smell is so nice to hon to kya para masala Okay, I just wanted to pick this location because I thought this is actually really beautiful and picturesque to do the filming. And as you could see the hill, it just goes up and up. And um I haven't actually seen any proper tea gardens or tea um plantations. I know there is a few in Sri Mongol, but because this is more near my doorstep in Selat, I thought I'll show you. And uh, let me take one off. So these are actually the tea leaves. I don't know exactly which tea, maybe Tetley, maybe Lipton, maybe PG. I don't know exactly which tea. But Bangladesh do produce so much tea and most of the tea is circulated all over the world and even the cup of tea you're having now maybe guys maybe that's from Bangladesh as well. So let me show you a bit more of the tea garden. Fresh tea. I think I'm not going to go up there because I'm a little bit wary in case there might be any ants or snakes I don't know and I've got a lot of areas to cover today so I don't think I'll be covering any more I'll just show you a little bit of this um tea resort and um I must say even if you come with your families and you could even take pictures and you could just even chill there another thing I like to mention while I'm talking I'm back to this Another thing I like to mention while I'm talking guys Sunar Bangladesh please uh, try to keep it nice and clean look at this litter it's no good look at this let me pick another one up litter this is one thing I don't like a lot of people come to these beautiful tree gardens and they make a mess look at that more litter look at that more litter bye boy no hazara dekha this is wrong it actually balanai other koto litter hol i can pick all this litter it'll take me probably many hours but this is wrong keep bangladesh clean it's your country it's our country please keep this country nice and clean okay khoy ekta photo tulise namku dekha kon tare kon baji ba lagbo okay amara tare kon la phoyla ba de tulile ba i think i'll be going from here but i'll like to tell you something A lot of people come generally to Silat for a few reasons to see Shah Jalal to see Shah Farhan and also to see the Silat tea garden the plantation that's a few reason they come and I did mention it gets distributed all over the world and different areas and this is one of the reason why Silat is famous Bangladesh is famous for a few reasons 
One reason Bangladesh less famous is because it has the world's longest natural beach and I'm sure you will know which is called Cox's Bazaar that has the largest, the longest world's natural beach. Do your research. And then Shundarban. And then uh, Shundarban. That's a massive Amazon forest in uh, Shundarban as well. And um, Bangladesh produces jute as well. So they do produce a lot of things and even garments. Bangladesh is one of the biggest exporters in garment as well. But um, I don't think I'll be able to cover all them things, but I'll cover this. But um, I will be traveling to other places, but this is the tea bagan. And please guys visit this place because this is one of the attractions. I'm making my way into the tuk-tuk. I think I've spent about a good 10, 15 minutes here and it is very beautiful. Mashallah. So, en route to Baishtilla, I think this is actually called Baishtilla as well. And I just wanted to stop here just to show you how beautiful and how picturesque this scenery is. And uh, whenever I come to Bangladesh, I just love to come to this area just to have a look at it. Just to take in all the area, breathe, just to relax and just to see everything. And just to get away from the hustle and bustle. Because when you're in Silet, when you're in Dhaka, all the noise and the traffic. And here is like a picnic area as well. You can see some people on the bikes. This is like a nice picnic area. So I just wanted to stop here and just show you the scenery. And I think we're going to be traveling this direction. That direction is actually the airport. I think this is all the airport area as well. And uh, I could also see a bridge as well. I can see a bridge there, full takita. Full Oh, full Oh, Oh, full Oh, yeah, Oh, full Oh, yeah, Oh, Okay, okay, it's not actually a bridge. But uh, this area is even a little bit like my area where I live in uh, in Silet, Muhammadpur. Similar, like that, but this is more beautiful. So let me just show you. Oh my god. Viewers, it might seem I'm really enjoying this ride, but not really. I regret it because it's very hard, the seats, very uncomfortable. Even the bike is in very bad condition and it doesn't even ride in a straight line. I don't know why I got in it. Secondly, the brakes don't even work properly, so I don't know how I'm going to stop it. But um, I had to just pretend I'm really enjoying the ride and it just looks uh, good basically. It's an absolute rubbish bike, it's like a katara.
This is actually a very famous area in the Baishtilla. You might remember Bilal Ahmed Murad from Green Bangla. A few years ago, he made a video regarding charity work and he said Humayun aids Bangladesh and they couldn't say it properly. Then he grabbed the guy and threw him in the water. This was the location by my so-called lucky younger brother of mine, Bilal Ahmed Murad. So when I came here, I thought of him and it's actually a beautiful, amazing location especially in the monsoon season you could go all around it on a nice boat and it's absolutely breathtaking okay another bridge i wanted to show you while i was coming this direction and um, you know what the funny thing is every time i drive i tell the driver to stop 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 just to go and look at the scene and i think he's going to be irritated but um, i think it should be fine anyway this is a beautiful bridge normally in the monsoon season all this is just drenched with water and it actually feels more like an ocean and not a hour but these are actually very big huge hour with um, our is basically like rice field, paddy field, huge paddy field. And uh, I'm trying to actually find a boat and if there is any area where there's a lot of water. So I could actually tour the place with the boat. And as I'm vlogging, there's a lot of spectators. If you look to my right, there was a, um, a truck, small truck. He stopped and a lot of people do watch me when I vlog. But um, I'm quite used to it now. And it's a quite a norm kind of thing but yeah it's absolutely breathtaking guys ready ready always ready born ready guys you know wherever i go the camera goes so in my life ready does not exist because as you know i'm a vlogger and i always need to be ready so whenever i'm in a car on a vehicle i already have my camera on video mode so whenever i see something nice i record anyway i am here at this beautiful location and let me show you a little bit about this location how nice it is and this villa behind me is absolutely amazing it's a beautiful villa so let me show you a little tour Pizza and Coke, I think they um, manufacture bread, biscuits, snacks, all sorts of different savouries. And this is one of the bashas, the villas they have built in the village. And a lot of people do actually build really nice, large villas in the village because it's more peaceful and it's more quiet compared to other areas. 
they do also have houses in the city but people like to actually live in the village and that's the best thing about living in the village like it's more peaceful but i just wanted to stop and show you this as well drawing and uh, these are massive houses i don't know if you could actually see it we'll try to get a little glimpse of it but um there's the house there behind and i think it's actually like a two-story house so many beautiful villas in the countryside in bangladesh and i have drove past and um, only a few that really caught my eye they're the ones i'd like to film and show you and a lot of people do spend a lot of money just by looking at this villa i think it's cost them at least in the region of a couple of hundred thousand pounds even though it's not a lot of money in, uh, in UK, but for Bangladesh, a couple of hundred thousand pounds, a lot of money to build a building. Thank you very much for your love and support. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and see you in the next vlog. Peace out, yo.